Hello and welcome back. So today I have a giveaway. I'm really excited. I'm not sure what I'm going to title it yet because I kind of want it to be secret only for people who actually watch my videos, you know, because I feel like um, that's who it's for. It's not for someone who just wants to win something. I mean, if you want to just win something, cool, enter, you know, but you have to be my subscriber. You have to be over 18. You have to live in the United States. Um, I have something in here that could probably go bad, and so I, I don't want to risk it with international shipping, so I'm sorry to all my international people. There'll be another giveaway soon. <laughs> Hopefully. Um, I'm going to do one when I get to 700 subscribers. Maybe 777. That's when I'll do my next giveaway. And right now, I think I'm at almost 600, so whenever that is, we'll see. Um, but yeah, this one's mostly just because I want... I want to say thank you and it's been a while and also uh, it's going live today so you can enter as of today January 30th and then it'll close on Valentine's Day. I had wanted to get it to you guys by Valentine's but I figured two weeks is a good amount of time because I sometimes get really backed up on my videos and can't watch them all instantly and I, I know when I have done this before in the past that people are like oh man I was really busy and I didn't get a chance to enter and I feel so bad but um <laughs> so this one hopefully um, you know, 16 days will be enough. Um, what else was I going to say? I'm so sidetracked right now. It's been one of those days where I've just been running around and not enough sleep, not enough coffee, that kind of a situation. I feel like I said everything I wanted to say. Um, oh yeah. So for Valentine's Day. Okay. I know Valentine's Day can be a triggering day to some people and it can make you feel kind of left out. So I'm hoping that by doing the giveaway announcement on the 14th. Um, so it's gonna close, I guess technically it'll close at 11.11 on Valentine's Day. So I'll try to do, oh, it's like my time. It's hard to do time when everyone's in a different state. Um, I will announce the winner on Valentine's Day. Boom, get it in before the 14th. <laughs> um, okay. And so, yeah, I'm hoping that if you win this and it's you're one of those people that gets really blue on Valentine's Day, that this will put a smile on your face and in your heart because that is my goal. Um, I just wanted to share some love and to share things. And it's a random mix of things, kind of like me. So it's body care, it's food, it's like a mental, emotional thing. And it's also a magical aspect. So... I mean, I think most people who watch my videos are kind of into the esoteric, the new age, the, you know, the witchy life. And if you're not, no judgment, but hello. <laughs> I I don't like to like announce it publicly. I have a weird thing and I'm going to be filming a video soon. One that I've tried filming many times now about like my spiritual journey and um, where my, my faith lies, if you will. Um, but I am someone who considers himself a witch and it's just such a powerful word to say and it elicits so many reactions and I like I tend to be really private and not try to expose myself but the whole purpose of this channel was to connect with people of like minds and to essentially expose myself in a small kind of big way so that I can get past this fear and push through it and overcome it and so far it's been great. I mean, if you are looking for a horrible time, I suggest watching my earlier videos. It's kind of the same style, but I'm obviously like way more uncomfortable and like awkward. And I feel like maybe I'm not so much now, but <laughs> who knows? Um, so yeah, now that I've said all of that blabber, let's get on into the items that I'm giving away. So the first thing I have here, if you've already watched my Moon's Harvest and you already know, it's this beautiful bath bomb really cute and girly and just like cute and then I'm also including the candy quartz bath bomb this one has a rose quartz heart inside and is there anything better than a heart shaped piece of rose quartz I don't think so I really love the one that I used and the bath was gorgeous lovely um, and unfortunately at the time of ordering things they were sold out of the full size, so I got the half size here of the Venus wine, but I do want to show that it does have, oh my god, that's hard. <sighs> there we go. It does have a piece of crystal, the Rhodonite, Rhodonite, I'm not sure how you say it. You guys know I love Venus wine, and I especially love the scent, um, so I figured 
it had to be included in this so you guys can, and i love this body butter like i love this so much a lot of these things that you're going to see here are going to be included in my favorites for january i just haven't um recorded it yet because i'm going to wait until february 1st but i am obsessed with this body butter the texture is out of this world and it's incredible it's it's a very sensual sexy <sighs> delicious scent and if you watch my videos you know i'm obsessed I have been for a few years now with the scent and so I wanted to include that in here as well and then I also have the um, cocoa butter bath melt from Moon's Harvest included another little heart as you can see these are all kind of like love love centered um, and then I have some soap from Witch Baby I really like her soap and this is good for cleansing like during moon cycles um, and it's scented in lavender so it's very relaxing her soap is really good I can even sometimes get away with just using her soap to shave with I know that sounds crazy, but it doesn't hurt me at all. <laughs> and then I'm including this chapstick from Leanne Grace. This is just kind of like a bonus item because I have so many of these already, but every time I buy her like her bundle, it always includes one of these. And so I wanted to include that here for you guys because I do like it. It is nice. Here we go. And then one of my favorite items in here is this. This is the Just Birthday Cake cookie dough this is these are the ingredients so it is vegan um it's not gluten-free though but it is non-gmo egg-free and dairy-free uh, and you can use this you can eat it raw i'm pretty sure it says it here where is it just eat it raw cookie dough i just eat it with spoons like i ate so much of this in december i made myself sick and i bought another one and i was like mm, i should get one for the giveaway so <laughs> i have been obsessed with it this, this month if you get PMS cravings, you want sugar, you want cookie dough, you like the, the candy inside, it is so good. And you can also cook it as cookies and they taste just as good. And I freaking love this, so I had to include this because who doesn't need sweets? I know I know, I want them in my life forever, so there's that. And then another thing I have been loving, which is going to be in my favorites, and I wanted to include it here, is this Organic Golden Milk Super Blend. Like, I love getting... Um, turmeric lattes or golden milk lattes they're my favorite thing to do but I don't like making it on my own because it's kind of a process to get all of the ingredients and this one has everything you need in it this is what it contains turmeric maca goji berry cinnamon ginger boswellia cardamom and black pepper and you guys know that you need black pepper if you're going to use turmeric to activate it um but yeah this is delicious I like it with macadamia nut milk and these are the values I have been totally digging on this I love drinking it. it makes me feel so calm and serene and there are so many health benefits with this um, but i'll probably discuss it more at length in my favorites video versus right here but i wanted to include that also so there's that and then the last item that isn't kind of um well it's second to last item i wanted to include a journal for you guys a forever wins this to either use it as a journal or use it as a gratitude journal i like the inside of it it's pretty wide pages so I like that and I like the style too and I just I loved it it's thankful grateful blessed as you if you watched my um my spiritual habits my morning practice you guys know I just use one journal and I do my affirmations I do my forgiveness I do my gratitude and I also do my three pages of brain drain all in the same book because I think that's the easiest it's more streamlined for me that way um so you guys can use this however you want but I wanted to include a journal to help inspire you to journal or to start if you haven't and then the last and final item, I wanted to include something that I received in one of my Witch's Moon boxes. Um, I love the item, I think it's beautiful. It's just not a piece that resonates with me. Like I got it and I loved it and I felt powerful, but I also felt like it wasn't for me. Um, and so I wanted to give it away and I figured what better place than in my giveaway. So I am gonna be including the magical wand that was I think in November maybe September's box, maybe October's, I honestly don't remember. <laughs> but I'm, really, I'm gonna be including the artwork piece and then also the, the wand itself. It's gonna come in a sheath. Um, it's a beautiful wand. It's just, like I said, it, I just know it doesn't belong to me. It's meant to be passed on um, and it's gorgeous. It has a beautiful crystal point tip. And it's just, it's such a beautiful piece has good energy um so yeah if you guys want to win just be subscribed to me put in an entry in the comments down below by the 13th um and 
I want you to comment down with Hmm, I'm trying to think. <laughs> I haven't thought this much that far through. I, I figured out what I wanted, but I didn't think far enough into what the actual requirement down below will be. I guess just comment down below with what your favorite thing has been about 2019 so far. For me personally, my favorite thing has been just the sense of hope. Like there's been this like great shift this year and I just feel hope again. Not that last year felt hopeless, but I guess it kind of did. It was just such a hard year and I was just struggling, but I, I still felt like a little flicker of hope. And now it's like a full on steady flame that's just getting brighter and brighter as each day goes by. And I love it. So that's been my favorite thing about this year is just a renewed sense of hope. So comment down below if you want to enter for this giveaway with what you've loved about this year so far. And good luck to everyone. This again will close on Valentine's Day. I will pull a winner and try to get this out with, within like two days. And yeah, thank you so much for watching and good luck.